entirely gave my dedication to medical oncology. It started with uh, speed videos. I have been a member with speed uh, for last six months or seven months now, and I'm very proud to say that I have enjoyed the live lectures also. So I bring in all the wishes and greetings and behalf of all the faculty members to Dr. Uh, Vikrant Gajeria for scoring rank number 57 in DM Medical Oncology Group in NEET SS session 2024. Congratulations to you, Doctor. Thank you so much, sir. Great uh, and wonderful achievement that you have done. And uh, it's a very happy moment I think you'll be in. And uh, <laughs> so we want to discuss some of things about it. And can we tell us a detailed background of where you started your career from what early you've done till date? <laughs> Uh, so, I started, uh, MB, uh, I did my MBBS from Sangli Maharashtra, Bharti Vidyapit. Uh, then I went on to do USMLE for uh, one month, uh, one year. And I cleared it, but then uh, I scored a little less. So, I was not very confident about uh, going to US. Then I decided to pursue medicine and joined in Jaipur NIMS Hospital, which is also a private college. Uh, there I did my MD medicine. And then I was uh, uh, back to Gujarat, where I'm from, Surat, basically. Okay. Then I did my SR ship and uh, one year of AP ship. So I'm probably the cautionary tale for most of the students out there. <laughs> okay. Great. Now, the idea of to do a superficiality that to a DM medical oncology started when who inspired you? Uh, so, I was posted in my medicine final year for eight months of uh, medical oncology. Uh, from starting the department to growing it to uh, like 60 patients, IPD, uh, 100 of OPD. So, that was the level I, I dedicated myself with uh, hematology and uh, medical oncology. And I did my eight months of final year in oncology. And I had a great mentor there. So, she also... Uh, pushed me that uh, medical oncology is basically something uh, which is a part of medicine. Just like medicine, it covers all the organ systems and uh, it's wonderful if you have a talent for it or you have interest in it. And so basically, once I started working there, uh, my interest peaked in it. And besides that, I also had a, in the back of my mind that I wanted to do medical oncology from a long back since I was in MBBS. Great. What was your preparation strategy? What all you prepared to achieve this rank? Uh, sir, I gave actually my NEET SS uh, in the previous year where I prepared. But, uh, you know, the last scheme was that uh, medicine was covered in entirety. But uh, medical oncology questions were like two or three. So I could not focus on medical oncology. But then I dropped uh, my thought that I don't want to do a super speciality. I was supposed to start my own clinic and uh, hospital. But uh, then I saw the notification that they have separated medical oncology entirely. And uh, I, I thought that if I want to try, this is the, my last chance. So I, I gave my uh, six months of preparation there. I prepared one month for medicine and oncology together. Then I uh, entirely gave my dedication to medical oncology. It started with uh, speed videos. I have been a member with speed uh, for last six months or seven months now. And I'm very proud to say that I have enjoyed the live lectures also, especially Nishan sir, uh, his story also inspired me a lot. Uh, in between where I uh, had self-doubt or I felt like I'm my preparation is not going the way it should. Uh, he was the one that when I was in uh, live lectures, he was the one I, I used to question or talk to and he was the one who inspired me a lot. Especially also general oncology from Santosh sir, uh, made a lot of concepts clear for me. Very nice. Very nice. And uh, faculties will be happy to hear from you. No, <laughs> they have provided the backbone of my preparation. Definitely. Great. The number of questions you answered in this exam? Uh, I left in almost A, B, C. I left uh, 5, 5 and 3. So I almost answered like... Uh, 140 or 142 questions. Okay, very good. Now, what will be your advice for the future aspirants? Uh, so, first of all, can I say one small thing? Yeah, please. Uh, just before the exam, I saw one of your videos and you told us that uh, if you are having a headache after your exam, that means you're 
that you have given your entirety of uh, your knowledge and your process everything that you have come across and that was my point when i finished my exam that was the reality that i was having a severe headache and i thought to myself that this is the sign that sir said that uh, it, it's that was the my, my confidence speaking that i am grateful that you said that and i was having that and i was very happy after also after the exam also and uh, uh, so can you repeat your question i, I because that is a science by itself Yes, preparing sir. for that day of the exam is a science it's yes, a proven sir. science uh, that i have gathered from all the toppers over 23 years yes sir. that means you should not go empty stomach yes sir definitely i had a high calorie diet just like you said then i had a calm mind i practiced some of the medication and all meditation and all the stuff and the, especially the headache part <laughs> <laughs> the retrospect but it was a sign for me that i'll eventually get to talk to you now <laughs> yeah because yes, head day can come in hypoglycemia also yes the reason why i say hypoglycemia didn't get a headache because the delivery of what is there inside to come out on the paper because of that you got the headache yes <laughs> <laughs> and i was very happy that i am having a headache first time in <laughs> blessing <laughs> great so yes. So all these are very proven sciences. Yes. They, they are not uh, just to say uh, some rituals. No, they are not rituals. They are very, very important uh, to deliver. See, you over a period of time. So what gatheration happened is the entire MBBS, the entire PG, and entire dedicated preparation for six months or one year, whatever it might be, everything is consolidated to one single point. And that single point of delivery is ourselves, not yes. anybody else. Yes, sir. So we have to be mentally physically all prepared well to take it up yes so it is not just uh, some preparation something or no doesn't work that way uh, we took it very seriously yeah, i took it word by word that if i am having headache i'll be i'll be very happy <laughs> <laughs> so you are for me but uh, i am appreciative sir <laughs> i am glad that uh, you you followed it and uh, and one of the student also said sir uh, there was a long queue for the restroom uh, oh. students were uh, trying to uh, go on a full bladder or half bladder no bladder go to the restroom mm -hmm. yes sir that, that was so i i just i timed myself that 15 minutes before the exam i'll stand up from my seat i'll go to the washroom and take my bio break and then i don't want to uh, take any breaks so in between i didn't waste that <laughs> and uh, during exam sir uh, one of the thought process was that uh, if i complete my section little early and my speed mm. grade is little higher then i can review it so i had uh, like in a section i had 15 minutes of time b section i had 15 minutes of time and c section i had 12 13 minutes of time where i reviewed all the questions almost all the question i reviewed again and i think my 10 plus marks has been increased because of that so great wonderful that I mean we generally we advise people we don't know from the ground reality how many follow but somebody has followed and somebody has benefited great yes, definitely and one more student uh, in in the, like you what said a headache there one more student in interview told me sir um, there was a juice shop close to the examination hall <laughs> where everybody was to have a fresh juice to have some lime juice and orange juice and everybody was having it and i was also having it and the shopkeeper was very happy that he could make more sales <laughs> it makes sense it makes sense <laughs> so you have improved the sales of the uh, bala <laughs> <laughs> juice shop uh, people who are around that area in that day so okay fine i mean if you're good it's fine okay come on let's come to the uh, i mean continue our interview on that way that i was asking you uh, your um, advice for the future aspirants uh, so so my first advice is always look after your health physical health uh, then your mental health because uh, if you don't have yeah. your head straight in the game then you lose out a lot of things like your preparation will derail uh, you'll have other thoughts like I, i don't want to do this and all this stuff because i am i think i'm the most senior uh, person giving right now i don't think anyone senior than me is giving this exam so i come from a point that i have self doubt i have responsibilities i have to do uh, look after other people's also 
so i i, I say that have a good support system exercise a lot of our, our doctors ignore that stuff i used to exercise daily for half an hour to 45 minutes without fail up until the five days uh, of the exam i used to exercise daily like uh, sweating and all those stuff cardio all whatever it feels like to me and the other stuff is uh, go through the books also uh, the notes which uh, pptts they have prepared so i used to do uh, one of uh, live lectures then i i used to go back and read the book then i used to go back and read the uh, ppt and then i used to solve the question it boosted my confidence like anything so i, I always tell them that I also you to uh, said that uh, 10 grand test that is the goal so i wanted to time it out uh, in last one month of my time but my preparation got little derailed and uh, i couldn't only finish like seven of them but i am very happy that i finished seven of them because it gave me a time to prepare find out what are my lacunas are and focus on on those stuff very good doctor uh, time to thank and whom all you want to thank that they helped your career from day one till date uh, to what you are today you can use this platform to thank all of them uh, sir i'll start by thanking my wife and my kid who is uh, just he was just 6 months old when i started preparing and i was uh, sort of isolated i i did isolate myself because i wanted to give my 100% and the sacrifice they have made my parents and all of those people have supported me immensely and i cannot thank them to the end of my life because i have seen them struggle with lot of stuff where my responsibilities were uh, transferred on to my wife or my parents and uh, that takes a toll on them also and i understand that Uh, being a senior person, I can tell that uh, everyone played their part, and uh, they are uh, who made me right now. And my teachers, my mentors. Uh, I'm telling about uh, my mentor from the MD days who piqued my interest and told me that uh, this is a branch that you can do a lot of good in. So I want to thank all of them, and especially Speed Perform sir. because uh, i didn't know where to start medical oncology because it was an alien subject for me despite having worked in it i didn't know how to prepare it and when i saw the last year's uh, toppers interviews it gave me a some insight that i can do this i i have to trust my process that uh, like uh, you gave uh, said you watch the videos you watch the ppts then you solve the questions and you repeat that is what i trusted the process and that has brought me here yeah, well said so we once again wish you all the very best and all the success for a great career ahead in uh, dm medical oncology as an oncologist you are going to kind of serve thousands lakhs and millions come to your service i'm going oh, to do that all the best to you thank you so much thank you